Ahoy, me hearties! On Saturday at the Advent Brunch, I'll be sharing a story that I wrote. You may have seen the first chapter in our church newsletter, but if not, I'd like to share with you the first chapter. Water was pouring into the sardine faster than the crew could pump it out. For 10 days, they had seen nothing but dark skies and rain. Storms had ripped the sails and toppled the masts. The captain had ordered the cargo be thrown overboard, yet waves kept crashing over the sides. A cry was heard above deck and echoed from one sailor to another, Abandon ship! John Fisher, a cabin boy, heard the cries as he was manning the pumps. He was elbowed out of the way by shipmates rushing out of the hull and climbing ladders to the deck where boats were being lowered into the water. Two boats were already in the water. John scrambled into the third. John never saw those other boats again. The waves drove them along separate paths. For three days, John and his shipmates drifted without food or water. By the third night, they were all dozing or delusional, and none of them saw the looming rocks in the darkness. They were awakened by a crash. John could barely recall grasping at planks of the smashed boat, but he woke the next morning on land, alone, still clutching a piece of wood. For the first time in nearly two weeks, the sun shone overhead. John scanned the beach and saw other fragments of the boat. There were no other signs of his companions. His first desperate thought was for water. He must find something to drink. He stumbled away from the shore and into the woods. After several minutes, he found a stream. Hoping to get his bearings, he ascended a hill and climbing a tree there, he saw that beyond the shore, the sea stretched in every direction to eternity. He was on an island. Two lonely weeks passed in which John survived off of crab meat, along with the fruits he found atop trees. During the days, he kept a fire burning in hopes that a ship would spot him. On day 15 of his island adventure, something caught his eye on the horizon. He ran to the fire and added more sticks, then dumped seaweed into the blaze. A pillar of smoke rose into the air. The speck on the horizon grew larger until he knew for certain that it was a ship. He tore off his shirt and waved it. Closer and closer the ship came until he could make out the crew. He yelled and waved, jumping into the air. Finally, he would get off of this island. Finally, he would see people again. He ran into the water, shouting that he needed help, but then he saw something that stopped him in his tracks. There from the ship's mast hung the Jolly Roger, the black flag with skull and bones. They were pirates. Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, 2,000 years ago, another John found himself on an island against his wishes. The book of Revelation was written by a man named John on the island of Patmos. He was sent there as a punishment for preaching the gospel of Jesus Christ. Toward the beginning of Revelation, John speaks of Christ as the one who is and who was and who is to come. It is that designation that will shape our reflections at the Advent brunch. Come hear the story of John the cabin boy. More importantly, Come hear the story of Jesus Christ, who lives today as surely as he lived long ago in Bethlehem and Galilee, and who will one day return for your redemption. If you'd like to find out what happens next, join us at the Advent Brunch.